Cooperation occurs in animals too, and it's very widespread. Ravens. Ravens are large birds that eat dead animals. And they live in groups. When a raven finds a, a carcass of dead animals, it recruits its group members. It gives special calls that lead the others to the banquet. And then, all together, they share the food. So, this first, the finder, the first raven that find the, the, the food, behave altruistically, apparently altruistically, because instead of eating the, the, the food, the, the carcass, calls the others and share the food with them. And this is very widespread in nature. This is a very important question. Actually, the question should be, is genetic, genetic environmental or cultural. The three things are true. There is a genetic component and then the environment is eventually with uh, the, um, the element that uh, fix everything and determines who is going to cooperate and who is not. An example in birds, for example. Birds can cooperate. They can breed cooperatively. In cooperatively breeding birds, there are individuals called helpers that instead of reproducing themselves, they help others to raise their offspring. This is called cooperative breeding. It has been shown that in the tree, in the phylogenetic tree of uh, uh, birds, there are groups that are predisposed to cooperation. Cooperation arises more frequently in eight families of birds. So, there is something in the evolutionary history of these groups that makes them more, uh, more suited to cooperate. So, there's something in their genes that promote cooperation. For example, the carrion crow, the, work, uh, I, the, the bird I work with, belong to a, a group of birds, the corvid, the, which are exactly one of these specialized group in cooperation. But crows do not, cooperate, do not cooperate everywhere in Europe. There are populations which are cooperative, like in Spain, and others in Central Europe that are not. So we did an experiment. We took eggs from the nest of the non-cooperative uh, crows and we put them in the nest of our cooperative crows. This egg hatched and the, the, the chicks that developed eventually became helpers at the nest, so they behaved cooperatively. So this show that the environment plays a role in determining if cooperation arises or not. It is very important because to understand cooperation in, all, uh, in nature and also in human, we need to use animal models because we can make experiments with them. For example, it's impossible to think about an experiment as the one I, I did with the crows and replicate it in humans. It's not ethical. So the, uh, the animals provide us models to study cooperation. And uh, uh, corvids in special are very interesting because um, they are also very uh, sophisticated animals. So far, we thought that primates were the more social, clever, cooperative and altruistic animals. And this is, was probably just because they resemble us very closely. And we are a very cooperative and altruist uh, being. But nowadays, we have discovered that corvids can rival with primates, both in social uh, structure, social behavior, and also in cognitive abilities. So th these animals are a perfect model to study complex phenomena like uh, cooperation and altruism in nature. Mm -hmm.